Hi, welcome to this session wherein we will try to understand how to convert raw data, that's the data that has been collected out of your research activity, into a probability distribution. Now we have been doing some small research where we are trying to observe the number of days that you have rain in a particular week. So you observe eight weeks, it's about two months, so you observe eight weeks. Each week, you're looking at whether it rains on a day or no. If it rains, we mark it as a rain day. If it doesn't rain, we leave it blank, as here. So we just note these details over eight weeks. So for example, if you take week five, there were two days of rain and then no rain for the remaining days. If you take week three, now there is one day, then no rain, rain, no rain, rain, no rain, rain. So alternate days of rain. Look at week seven, there's no rain at all. Week six, one day of rain. Now I need to convert this into a probability distribution. So when I have to go in for that, I need to first identify the random variable. So what are the possible uh, outcomes here? Rain, no rain. So only two possible outcomes, so two possible variables are there. So how do I count them and then note them down? I have a very simple, uh, you know, function in Excel called as counting. And oh, that's a count blank. So which means that will help me a lot. It will be able to count if there are any blank spaces. So if I just select this first row, which is the days in a particular given week. Okay, so there were two days of blank, which means this is blank, this is blank. What does it mean? It means no rain day. So our variable no rain is easily calculated or counted using the blank function. So I just drag down, I get the number of days we had no rain. Supposing the question was to construct for a variable called rain, that is number of days of rain per week. So then uh, uh, we will have to construct it for rain. We know there are seven days in a week. So seven minus two days of no rain. That was five days of rain. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, yes. So there I go. I just pull down. Well, I have the details here. I have the details about how many days of rain I had. Now I just come over and construct the table. So my X here is uh, days of rain per week. So that's how I call it. The number of uh, days I had rain in a particular week. And of course, the frequency count. So what are the possible outcomes here? Number of days of rain. I had no day of rain. That's zero. So I had zero. I have one day, two day, three day, four days, five days. No more than five. Right? Yes. No more than five I had. So how many days of no rain, uh, how many weeks of no rain days? Only one. One day raining week is one. Two also is one. Three days of rain. Once, four days of rain, two times. Five days of rain, two times again. So if I total this up, yep. I got eight. So I had eight observations that I made, which is eight different weeks. And for each week, how many days of rain? That's what I have found. So if I have to find the probability now for each occurrence, probability of uh, X, how do I find that equal to this divided by the total number of observations, right? So then I just fix this using the dollar and pull it down. That's it. So we have the probability distribution for days of rain in a week. No days or no rain in a week, one day of rain in the week, two days of rains, four days of rain in the week, five days of rain in a week. Thank you.